How's it going, YouTube? My name is Javen. Welcome back to another video inside of Destiny 2. Actually, welcome to Destiny 2, the final shape. That's right, the final shape has just been really, uh, just been announced, and it is making its way February 27th, 2024, and we just had the showcase about like three hours ago. So let's dive into on what we are preparing for with the final shape. Of course, as always, like any other expansion, the final shape comes with its annual pass and its standard edition. So... <coughs> Sorry about that, I got a little bit of a cold. But, um, as you can see, uh, we got our boy Cade back, that's awesome. Um, we got Zavala, who is replaced by Keith David, uh, rest in peace Lance Reddick, uh, you'll be missed. And we have, uh, Ikora Ray, and then we got a, uh, this looks like the new hunter gear for the, the Final Shape, uh, campaign. And then we got the Witness, and we got our Pyramid Ships, and our, uh, uh, Traveler. We're going to go over the overview of this entire expansion. So, Final Shape, February 27, 2024. Uh, feel free to pre-order it if you want to. I might just get the standard edition because it's, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, there are the story. So, the story, Confront Oblivion. As you can see, we got the Witch Queen armor set uh, character. And we got the Trials of Osiris Titan armor right here. From the, the, old, the old Trials of Osiris armor. And we got Ikora. And this is a new location. We'll go over that in a little bit. Alright, story. Confront, confront Oblivion. The final shape looms a nightmarish cal calcification or reality into a, into the Witness's twisted design. Embark on a perilous journey into the heart of the Traveler, rally the Vanguard, and end the War of Light and Darkness. So this is the last expansion for the Light and Dark Saga, meaning that we are getting uh, something new after Final Shape, which I'll go over in just a second. After the story, we have the Destination, <coughs> the Pale Heart. Which, this place looks absolutely crazy. Um, that looks like a piece of the Witness right there. They got some beautiful mountains. This is actually inside the Traveler, which is very beautiful. There is a place where we will find eternity be being torn asunder. An unraveling landscape that echoes with the deeds of our past. Pers persevere in, in, in the... I can't speak, sorry. In the impossible place and uncover what lies at the heart of this war. So we got some three beautiful pictures right here. We have our Guardians. Uh, this is the new armor set. Uh, I really like it. Looks pretty nice. <clears throat> I like the landscape of the the nice nature around the um, destination. The Pale Heart is very beautiful. Uh, we got what looks like the Destiny uh, 1 uh, Tower uh, that's making a return. And this is really, really cool. It's actually right near the outside of this uh, uh, the Veil right here. We got our three guardians again standing, and yeah, this is the old tower. Uh, this is gonna be very exciting. I'm really excited for the old tower to come back. I didn't think it would come back in the final shape though. And we got our picture. We got Zavala, Keith David, like I said, and we got our guardians sitting at the campfire, and they're gonna be fighting the witness. This is gonna be really cool. And those are your three pictures. We also have two tormentors, which. It's like, a, there's a, like a strand and stasis one, which is pretty cool. And then we got three supers, uh, well, new supers, three lights. Uh, this is going to be your new light subclasses. So for the hunt, the Titan, uh, they get a very cool battle axe, a uh, void battle axe, which is very nice. Uh, Hunter super is a, a dagger uh, in hand, become the arc flashing in the darkness to the edge of the storm and your enemies cannot outrun. And then Warlock Super, this is uh, giving me flashbacks of the Sunsinger, um, this aka the self res uh, super from Destiny 1. And as you can see, it is like little projectiles, little uh, tracking projectiles going towards these guys right here. That's pretty cool. I like the aura the Warlock has, and the armor is very, very nice. Unleash your inner phoenix with every attack, buff your weapons, allies, and harness the living soul of flame. I, man, I wonder how good that would be with... Uh, uh, sun bracers that would be overpowered. Um, all right, here's my favorite part. You guys know I'm an end game kind of person. The only way is through, and this is the activities Co uh, conquer new challenges on the Guardian's perilous journey. So, first activity we got within the Traveler push back the corruption that has infested this mysterious and once pure landscape. There's going to be an activity here, kind of like what we had with Lightfall for Terminal Overload. And then we got a new raid. Uh, I'm very excited for this because we are actually going to confront the witness now. We're going to fight the witness as a boss. So I'm wondering if those two tormentors are going to be one of the uh, campaign bosses. We don't know yet, but 
We will find out. Or maybe possibly Zevo Wrath. Who knows? Calling all guardians, the time has come to confront the witness. And then we got our two new dungeons for the dungeon key. Very, very nice. And if you pre-order Lightfall uh, Annual Pass, not Lightfall, sorry, the Final Shape Annual Pass, you will get the exotic uh, linear fusion rifle, which is the, actually this is, I mean, okay, uh, from the from the trailer, it looked like a linear fusion rifle, but it almost looks like a hand cannon uh, when I look at it, uh, and the, and this looks really nice. I, li I like the way this looks, it's got the spikes at the top, this looks like a pretty dangerous weapon. It's an exotic fusion rifle, not a linear. So purpose carved from meaningless, the change generation of the universe crept into beauty intentionally, uh, intentionality that which served no reason, seized randomness, delighted by the sculpture's art. Pre-order the final shape plus annual pass and instantly unlock the test selection exotic fusion rifle. So if you pre-order uh, the annual pass for the final shape, you will get this exotic weapon and you'll be able to play it once you pre-order. After the, during the final shape, you're going to get these, um, new, uh, episodes. These are kind of replacing seasons. Uh, so first one we got is March, uh, through June. Uh, we got Echoes, and then July through October we got Revenant, and then November through February we got Heresy. How these work is very similar to season. Every six weeks, uh, we are going to be getting new acts. So act one, two, and three. Every six weeks we're going to be getting a new act, which includes some exotic, uh, missions, some new exotic weapons to grind for. New activities, artifact mods, pass rewards, and pass ranks, rewards, and yeah, you're gonna, that's what it's going to have, these are going to be for. I hope one of the new activities is going to be more raids, because this is giving me similar thoughts on how the uh, the annual pass for the Forsaken works, where it was uh, Season of the Forge, you got Scourge of the Past, and then you skip, uh, you got Season of Drifter, you skip that one, and then Season of Optimus, you got a new raid, which is uh, a crop sorrow. Uh, starting in 2024, episodes will be replacing seasons as a new way of storytelling and a content update format for Destiny 2. Each episode will contain new story content and rewards, including a new exotic mission, exotic weapon, and armor. Episodes will be split into three acts, with a new act releasing every six weeks, containing new stories, quests, activity weapons, artifact mods, pass rewards, pass rewards, and rewards. And these will be the, thir the first three episodes, so there's obviously going to be more to come after Heresy. And here is the, uh, different, uh, Types of uh, final shape um, you can pre-order. So you got the standard edition. These are the editions: standard edition and annual pass. So if you pre-order, you'll get a exotic ghost shell and lightfall emblem for the standard edition. If you pre-order the final shape annual pass, you get the test selection exotic fusion rifle, exotic emo, which looks really cool. Can't really tell what that one is. Uh, exotic uh, Ghost, if you guys can tell, the Exotic Ghost has the pyramids around the Traveler, which is really darn cool. And then you got the light Legendary Emo. <coughs> and then you get, for the final shape, you get the new raid and the Echoes and the Expansion. And then you get a lot more stuff with the um, Annual Pass. The final shape Expansion, new raid, Echoes, Revenant, Heresies, Final Shape, Dungeon Key, Test Selection, Exotic Fusion Rifle, and Ornament, Catalyst, and Ornament for a Test Selection. And then you get your secret stash from Master Oak if you want to get that. And then your exotic sparrow. And then we got our collector's edition, which if you pre-order the, well, if you order the collector's edition of the final shape, you'll get this really cool tower statue with, looks like Cade, Ikor, and Zavala. And you get some nice books and some cool stickers and stuff. And, yeah, that's going to be just about it for the final shape. We got our beautiful pictures right here, as you can see. Uh, go over a few of those. I'll have you guys look at that. And then we got some nice wallpapers, too. But now I think about it, I should use one of these as my desktop. Anyways, I do hope you guys find this video helpful. And you got a nice little art right here of the Guardians. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys are excited for Final Shape, comment down below on what you're mostly excited for when the Final Shape comes out. Uh, make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Feel free to give this video a big like. And comment down below, like I said, on what your favorite part about the showcase was. And as always, that's going to be it for the end of the video. I hope you guys did find it enjoyable. And as always, my name is Javit, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you later.